Hey everyone, today we're talking about networking. This is something you're doing already, but I'm talking about it being more like a proactive thing. So you go out and network rather than sort of casually develop a network. I'm going to do a quick review and then discuss how to start doing more immediately. So very simply, your network means people that you know. They may be your friends, family, casual acquaintances, work pals, schoolmates, professors, industry contacts, and these are circles of contact which sometimes overlap, but not always. In these days of online work and everyone being obsessed with their phones, it's more important than ever to maintain contact with real flesh and blood people as opposed to virtual um, commenters. Not to mention a, it's a good way to make new friends and possibly girlfriends and boyfriends, but it's also crucial to your job hunt. A good place to start your network is to look at your classmates. And the first step is to link with all these people on LinkedIn. And I know I've mentioned this before, and in fact, some of you have linked to me already. Everybody should do that. So if you search around on LinkedIn, you'll find out there are City Tech Comedy alumni out there in the industry. You can link to them. Mention that you're a City Tech grad or a soon-to-be grad. With classmates, however, you have a ready-made set of people with similar experiences who already know you and who will be your contacts and often your friends in the industry. They're also looking for work and in some cases are already working. They can, for instance, tell you about job openings, companies that are expanding, people that are hiring, positions that are open when they hear about them. They might even recommend you for a job. You might recommend them for a job. On the Ask a City Tech Grad page, which I've invited you all onto, there are interviews with City Tech graduates who have successfully launched themselves into the industry, and they are also contactable. Look for them on LinkedIn. And you can say, oh, I saw that video with you. Search through the interviews. Um, there's an interview with Tim Locke, L-O-K. He, in particular, talks about how he used his school network to get himself into the industry. And if you don't know yet, the communication design at City Tech Facebook page, which is a separate page from our class page, there are frequently posts about jobs and internships apart from the usual departmental announcements. And I'll be posting that link on Facebook and Blackboard. And the people that post them are people that you can link to. Sometimes they're professors, sometimes they're just graduates. You need to keep an eye on these pages. The posts are informative, but they're also networking pages. The fact is our own City Tech community is one of the most important network opportunities you can have. We at City Tech help each other. And this goes for people who graduated years ago. Um, you can message alumni on Facebook and ask them about opportunities. And even if they can just review your portfolio and give you some tips, they might even know about jobs coming up as well. Then you link with your professors, like me. And some of you have already done this. More on that in a minute. Then link with people on your jobs, even your non-design jobs. Definitely link to people on your internships and definitely link to people that you meet at design events. And I'm going to talk about that in a second. There are also professional organizations that I've mentioned before. I've put a list on Blackboard, including the One Club, the Art Directors Club, the Type Directors Club, Society of Publication Designers, SIGGRAPH, uh, the Illustrator Society, AIGA for um, graphic designers, and you know any number of meetups that are organized in the city. There is something for everyone. All of these organizations hold events, have speakers, present exhibitions. Each one of these events is an opportunity to network with the industry. For the professional organizations, join now while you're still a student so you can get student prices. And now that you're finalizing your personal branding, you can print up some business cards, put a QR code on the back that goes to your website, and have it handy to give out to anyone you make contact with at the event. And if you know Professor Garastegui, he's on the board of AIGA, or at least he was. I think he still is, but you can check with him. But anyway, he kind of knows about AIGA, so you can ask him and see if that's one for you. 
If possible, it's even better if you join a couple of them and see which one you like the best. When I lived in New York, I belonged to, at various times, uh, AIGA, the Art Directors Club, and the Type Directors Club. For me, I liked the Type Directors Club the most, um, but it's up to you to figure out what's best for you. When you join these organizations, you find out about events and you go to them. If you volunteer to help running an event, you get in free or at a discount. You can mingle and give people your newly designed business cards, tell them you're about to graduate, tell them you're from City Tech, you're looking for work, give them your card, show off your knowledge a little bit, impress them with your card design, make a connection. And then you link to them on LinkedIn. The other big resource for networking is, of course, your professors, particularly professors you're friendly with. Professors can hook you up with internships, with jobs, a reference either for a job or for graduate school. Whenever those opportunities come along, jump on them. I've occasionally helped people get jobs and internships myself. Other professors can do this too. For instance, I keep in touch with many of my former students. I try to help them, and in turn, they help other students and sometimes come back to give a talk about their experiences or make an Ask a City Tech grad video. If you're going to use a professor for a reference or a recommendation, it is polite to approach each professor individually and ask permission. I once got an email from a student who sent a group email to me and 10 other professors, and he said, I always got along with you as a professor. You know my work. Could you please write me a recommendation? So it's not exactly personal. Professors don't get paid for doing any of that work, and it can take time. So it's gracious at the very least to address us individually and to say thank you. Sometimes City Tech grads can be out in the field for several years and be debating whether they should go to graduate school. So we've had situations that when someone wants to go to grad school, it turns out that a City Tech professor also works at that graduate school. Sometimes there are other City Tech grads at that very same graduate school at the same time taking the same course as you're trying to get in. They can be a useful resource. So the way you find this stuff out is you keep in touch. Keep in touch on LinkedIn, keep in touch on Facebook, keep in touch, you know, whatever social media version you're, you're um, using and, you know, tell your friends what's happening. Find out what's happening with them. Just be connected. Another networking possibility are COMD speakers. The department invites different speakers to give presentations every semester. All kinds of interesting people from big media companies like Google and Amazon and Microsoft, as well as small design studios and agencies. They, all of these guys have participated in the past and will no doubt have some this semester. When you go to a departmental event, listen to what they say, ask intelligent questions. Afterwards, you go and say hello and connect with them on LinkedIn and remind them who you are. It's another networking possibility. In my experience, our visiting speakers are very generous with their time and communication. LinkedIn and Behance are a resource for recruiters. I mean, other, other sites are as well, but LinkedIn and Behance are big ones. Recruiters frequently go through online design portfolios and LinkedIn profiles to hire designers. As you update your resume, update your LinkedIn profile. It's a quick and easy way for you to get on their radar. I've posted that list of keywords on Blackboard, and that should be included in the copy of your resume, but also in your LinkedIn profile. Almost more important on your LinkedIn profile. Because researchers, I mean, sorry, recruiters search for the words that describe your perfect job. Make sure you have all those words on your profile so the right people will be looking for you. My niece was looking for a job. My brother, who was her dad, was sitting in his pub and one of the regulars came in. My brother mentioned that his daughter was looking for work in television. Turns out the regular also worked in television and he hooked her up with an interview and she got the gig. You never know who knows who, particularly in New York. So, two assignments. <clears throat> Design a business card that uses your new branding. Logo on one side, big, contact information, and a QR code that leads to your website on the other. 
and you have another essay to write. This time it's about a design event where you describe the event and what you thought about it. Please don't use AI for this. We tried this last semester and all the essays sounded exactly the same. AI tends to formalize things in a really annoying way. It doesn't sound like your voice. So your aim with this writing exercise is to sound like you, not like what the computer thinks you're trying to say. The design event can be a city tech speaker or an event at a professional organization like the One Club or something at the Design Museum or a talk at one of the Apple stores. Basically, you just get out into New York and find out what's going on in this incredible design city and report back. Most designers in the world don't have this New York advantage. So you, as young designers, need to take advantage of it. You have until the end of March to complete this assignment. So do some research and find out something you're genuinely interested in, and you might make some connections while you're there. And then you write it up, one page only, and you hand it in. If you have any questions about what you need to do, post it on our Facebook page so everyone can see the question and answer it. Um, I'm going to be in New York. I've mentioned this to some of you already. It's, uh, we're going to have an in-class meeting on March the 14th. If too many people can't make March the 14th, which is a Thursday in the evening, we can switch it up to Monday the 18th in the evening, but Thursday would be better um it because it, it, it'll just a, a bunch of people have already said they can make that that evening so if you can possibly make thursday or arrange it in a way that you can make it on thursday that would be wonderful let me know i'm going to be talking to you um in class we're going to talk about ai and um i'm going to be specific about an assignment but in the meantime i want you to find out an ai that you might use to create some imagery. Um, now I know that um, Adobe has Firefly and that's the easiest one for you because you all have the Adobe suite so you can just call it up and use it. But there's other ones out there. So just be clear about what you're going to use for this assignment that's going to be later. Um, so it's not a big surprise and, I, and the class isn't all about, oh, you know, which one should I use or how can we do this, that you already know that before we start talking about it in March. Um, this is important stuff. Might invite some other portfolio students from other classes to come along. Actually, you can invite anyone you want to come along because it's going to affect everybody. But it should be an interesting discussion. I have to learn more too. It changes all the time. This is the crazy thing. Good. Okay, I will see you on Sunday and Monday.